Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins, and you can also find us on X. Well, we had some interesting news from the Daily Mail. It was an exclusive. <laughs> Charles finally cuts off Andrew. Don't know this for sure, but it is Rebecca English, and she is pretty on the money when it comes to things like this. She's not, you know, salacious. She's a amazing reporter. I respect her tremendously. Let's read what Rebecca English has to say. King Sever's brother's one million a year allowance, plus read more Harry and Meghan revelations in landmark new book, serialized exclusively by the mail. Prince Andrew has officially been financially cut off by the king, marking a new low in relations between the brothers. This makes me sad because we all knew that the queen loved Andrew. Protected Andrew. Now, obviously, I'm sure Andrew has money. I'm not thinking he's going to be destitute now. But He's going to be shaking cans yeah. on the corner. An updated biography by acclaimed royal writer Robert Hardman, serialized by the Mail, reveals that despite the Duke of York's attempt to call the monarch's bluff, Charles has acted decisively. In recent weeks, he has instructed his keeper of the privy purse, the monarchy's finance director, to sever his beleaguered younger brother's annual personal allowance, believed to be in the region of one million a year, and no longer pays for his seven-figure private security detail. The king, who has also long made clear his wish to see Andrew move out of his vast 30-room mansion at Windsor, Royal Lodge has now placed the ball firmly back in his brother's court. In doing so, he has, Hardman also reveals, for the first time, made good on his late mother's determination to solve the Andrew issue once and for all. Indeed, impeccably placed sources reveal that had she lived another year, Queen Elizabeth, who had long been accused of being reluctant to take action against her rumored favorite son, would have forced him to leave his family home and downsize to Frogmore Cottage, the former home of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. That's interesting. I mean, I guess the Queen, you know, really was uh, going to do that. I'm starting to agree with King Charles and the Queen on this then, because the Royal Lodge really, does he really need to live in the Royal Lodge well, when... the Corgis. Well, the Wales family, though, they live in Adelaide Cottage, By which choice. is super small. Yes. But at the end of the day, does Andrew need all that space? No. I get he's got grandchildren, but do you need all that space? You don't really need all that space. And then you got one daughter who is still in good with the Harkles. So I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing that he's cutting ties with that side of the family. Do you, you know? think do you think that he's taking this away and the money in the house just to to kind of um, send a message to Harry and Meghan. That would be awesome. Do you think? I hope so. Sort of like, you know, watch what I can do. That's can, my brother. I can take titles away. I can take titles away. I can do whatever I want. Let's you know, see. watch yeah. this. Let's An updated edition of Hardman's best-selling biography, Charles III, New King, New Court, the inside story, which was published earlier this year, is now being brought out in hardback with extra material and three new chapters packed with fascinating detail. Among the new revelations is how Prince Harry's determination to doggedly pursue legal action against the Home Office over its decision to withdraw his round-the-clock security when he quit royal duties has driven a wedge between father and son, as it should. You do not sue your country and the institution just because you think that your wife needs security that she really doesn't. King fears that if he repairs his relationship with Harry, he could be dragged into the case, placing him in legal jeopardy. I hope this is true because the king needs to stay away from Harry, away from Meghan, unless Harry comes back and decides to go into like a program where he gets, you know, 
deprogrammed, great brain, brainwashed, <laughs> deep brainwashed. Yeah. <laughs> Royal Insiders has also hit back at suggestions that they failed to help Megan when she joined the royal family, saying she threw their offer back in their faces. Oh my God! Oh, does she did? They insist, far from throwing the Duchess to the wolves, as she suggested, they did everything in their power to help her. And it was she who said no. Sources say the king is not against some sort of reproachment with the Sussexes, despite the barrage of criticism he has received, but it has not been an easy process. When Harry returned to the UK in May, the two did not meet. The prince was offered a room at Buckingham Palace, but instead chose to stay in a hotel. I bet you it was Soho House. Soho! Allegedly. Soho clubs for chumps anyways nowadays. We were told it was for security reasons. What? Again, I remember reading that and thinking it's the funniest thing I've ever heard security. in my life. Security. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I just don't feel safe at Buckingham Palace. Someone's going to get gonna me with a butcher knife. I'm going to stay with Marcus. I'm not sure you could get anywhere more secure than the palace. As for Andrew, it can now be revealed that his attempts to play a dangerous game of high stakes poker over Royal Lodge against his brother have backfired. Sources close to the Duke of York have long argued that he has a cast iron long term lease on the late Queen Mother's former home in Windsor Great Park. Although he no longer undertakes royal duties, has been stripped of his patronages and military associations, and effectively barred from using his HRH title in public over his association with convicted P. Jeffrey Epstein, Duke has been determined to cling to the vestiges of his former life, most notably his home. Here is the book by Robert Hardman. I haven't read it yet, but now with these new three chapters, I think I will check it out because uh, anything that has to do with Harry and Meghan being losers, I will definitely read. And uh, there, there's always a reason behind King Charles's moves his you know what when he plays chess i'm wondering gosh you know the diddy thing's happening right now the names they're gonna start getting released the videos are gonna start leaking god did andrew screw up again i think did andrew he? and harry screwed up did they screw up I again so. and i think you know man is is king charles trying to distance himself from his brother because of this now we're just saying our we're opinion speculating right now. this is the speculating point in the show where we speculate you know i think stuff's going to go down. I think this Diddy thing is going to shake up not only Hollywood, but the world. I mean, with the Epstein thing, I mean, he had Ghislaine Maxwell to take the fall for him. And clearly, whatever happened in that prison cell happened in that prison cell. We don't know. I'm speculating. I don't think he offed himself. Um, but I think Ghislaine, he's living on an island. Right I don't now. think Ghislaine's in prison. I don't think Ghislaine's in prison. I either. think it's allegedly. a double. Allegedly. I but I'm just saying double. there's a lot going, there's a lot of money going through this. The Kardashians are scrambling. Prince Andrew's scrambling. Harry might be scrambling. We don't know until we see the tapes. Well, good for King Charles for protecting the crown just like his mother would have wanted him to and protecting his family. And when I say his family, I mean, William and the kids and Catherine, Camilla, because there's nothing more you can do at this point. They screwed up and you know, they, Andrew did screw up. See, did. I think a lot of people are going, Oh God, he's putting him out in the cold. Andrew did screw up. He did screw he screwed up. up. He, he screwed wanted to up. be with the popular kids. Yeah. He wanted to hang out now, with the popular kids. The reason kids. why we can accept him walking to church on yeah. Christmas and Easter and all that stuff. The reason why we can accept that is because, yeah, people can screw up. They can screw in up. In their private life. But he didn't, like, throw his family under the bus. Exactly. So that's why I'm cool with it. If You can't go against the family. That's yeah. where we draw the line. And the world draws the line. Andrew completely messed up, man. Yeah. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. But do you know how many guys have done that? Do you know how many girls have done that? Yeah. You know, okay. All right. He's the black sheep now. Yes. But King Charles is never going to treat him the way that he's treating Meghan and Harry because Andrew didn't go around and shop around for a book deal. He didn't yeah. do a docu-series. Yeah, I mean, everyone's going to bring up then, oh, well, he did that interview. Yes, he did an interview where he said he has no sweat glands. That made no sense. The dude's dorky. But he did not bring up his family once. 
So that is the difference. Yeah. And it may be, you know, you guys may not agree with us on that. But when it comes to family, no, he did not do what Harry did. What, what Harry, Harry did. did was much worse. Yeah. Much he, worse he, in our eyes. He didn't call his family racist. Yes. I don't recall that. Yes. Um, what he did was detrimental to himself but not to his family, Okay, you know? Today's animal rescue is Layla's Heart Ranch and Rescue. We just love them over there. They are constantly saving lives. We wish them all the luck with this huge move that they are doing. They're just trying to get more space so they can yeah. save more animals. Their whole goal is to save animals off death row, and that is what we promote. And then they foster them on their ranch, and then they find uh, wonderful forever homes. And I just, I love them over there, the gang over there. Please go check out their website. We are putting the link in the description below. Share them with friends and family and make sure you show them some love today. It really does make a difference, you guys. And it's so expensive to move during the winter. You know, you got to get the heaters in. You got to get all the blankets. That's the main thing is to keep those animals warm. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're living in like Hawaii. Yeah, but then... You can rain in Hawaii. Yeah, I get rain. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. We'll see monsoon. you. Monsoon. Yeah, monsoon season. All right. Well, we love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.